I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I don't know what's going on, please. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything that you're talking about and also nothing else. As far as doing anything, I didn't. I don't know what's going on, please. I'll have to check my pictures, but my friend Shmita is borrowing them. I didn't do anything. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to True Crime Loser. How you doing? It's good. Okay, so today we're going to finish up very quickly, I think, her interrogation. Not as much happened as I thought because she like goes to the bathroom and then it cuts off. And then we're going to talk about the hilarious phone call that once the interrogation's over and they book Dahlia into jail, she calls Mike for help. I don't know what's going on, please. She calls the guy, her husband, that she just had tried to have killed to help her get a lawyer. Man, that's a level of... That's a level of Dahlia that none of us were prepared for. Okay, so just a very quick recap. The the detectives were going along with it. Like, was there anyone that you thought would kill your husband? And then that ended. And they were like, the game's over, Dahlia. You're being arrested today for solicitation of first-degree murder and she's like i didn't do anything i didn't do anything i didn't do anything what's going on? i don't know what's going on please i want to see him and mike is in the hall like i heard you i heard you so i heard you i didn't do anything all right and then you know first degree murder He's like, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Remember Sandlot? Forever. You're going to jail forever. And then, so that detective that initially kind of just went off on her, which is one of my favorite interrogation moments, just the way he lays down the law, it's got to be so satisfying. And then... I think they let her leave the room and see Mike for a second, and then they put her back in the room, take the cuffs off, and then two new detectives come in, and it's kind of the good cops. So we pick up with her now uncuffed. They made, like, a big show of cuffing her, like, get in here and cuff her up. And she's like, I'm not doing anything. What's going on, please? So now she's back. She's sitting at the table. She's got a water bottle. She's uncuffed. She's looking like someone hit her in the face with a rubber club. She went from like, (laughs) to just, she looks like she's going to be sick, and she's just sitting there. And um, the detectives are like, so you remember your rights from earlier, right? And she's like, I want a phone call. And um, so then they they have to, because she doesn't come right out and say, like, oh, yeah, I remember the rights. They have to explain to her rights again, so they're going through that. She's kind of just staring off into space. And then she asks, can I use the restroom? She goes, can I just use the real restroom? I, I, didn't, I, couldn't, get, I couldn't use the, uh, the one that I couldn't feel comfortable in the one. So I'm sure it was like a public, like, you're in jail, sorry, there's a bunch of people around, now you have you know, to go to the bathroom in front of them. So she's like, can I just use the regular restroom? And this almost reminded me of when old Chrissy Poo Watts was in the, the interrogation room, and he's like, can I just go out and talk to my dad? I've been in here, I've been in this room for six hours. And Dahlia's like, can I just use the regular bath? Can we just pause for a moment? And I just need to use the regular bathroom. I just need to feel comfortable. And it's like, Dahlia, this is your thing now. This is your shit is just the public thing. So get used to it. Get used to the public toilet. 
Don't be alarmed if you see Chris Watts' head while you're using it, okay? Can I just use the regular bathroom? I just feel like, you know, please. I think also this is her just being used to being a, um, like growing up being a pretty girl. I think she's always just used to being like, okay, you know what? If you're not comfortable, just use the normal bathroom. But now, once you're going to jail for solicitation to first degree murder, then you got to use the other bathroom, Dahlia. No one cares anymore. All right, so then they're like, do you understand what's happening right now? Because she's sort of just like not looking good, just sort of staring off into space. And then in this part, she really starts to remind me of Casey Anthony. So she's like, well, you know, I'm under, I'm understanding things a little bit better. And she gets real good at, about talking and not saying anything. She's like, well, I, I start, I'm starting to understand things a little bit better. And they're like, all right, so what do you understand? Because it's just very simple. And she's like, well, uh, like someone, I mean, came in and they like told me one thing. And then like, I mean, like then other people have just been coming in and telling me stuff. But it's like, and they just cut her off. They're like, okay. And this cop, you know, the good cop, is very calm. And he just, you know, essentially goes, Dahlia, you're being charged with solicitation of first-degree murder. We taped everything. We recorded everything. All the conversations with the, you know, the hitman that you met with, he's a cop. We recorded all that. The camera's in the car. You said you were 5,000% sure Let's talk about it. You know, they really want the confession, which, you know, looking at the, how the whole thing went, they were right because the trial turns into a quite a big shit show. So they're saying, you know, you're looking pretty stupid sitting there going, you know, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. And, uh, you know, they're going like, I know it's hard, Dahlia, but let's just, let's just talk the truth. I know it's hard, but we have all, it's not our first day doing this. We set up this whole, inv we set up this whole thing to catch you. Um, and they're playing the card of like, look, no one was killed. That's the good news with this whole thing. I know it's going to be hard to face the music of your solicitation to first degree murder charge. But the good thing is, is that Mike is still alive. Which is good. That's kind of what I like about this case, is no one died. We get to study the fascinating sociopath weirdo that Dahlia is, but no one died. It's kind of refreshing. After, after the Watts case, where just everybody died in that one, this one, no one died. So it's, it's kind of nice. So they're saying, you know, look, no one died. That's the good news. We stopped that. You didn't kill him. So let's just, you know, everything is on tape, Dahlia. And then she uses a strategy that you'll see when people are just have no chance, you know. Because all she really has right now is I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Which runs out of gas, as you can imagine, real quick. And then so she goes into this like, this is just all so confusing. And everyone, so she's like, she's like, everybody keeps going over the things that they want me to sign. And I've been signing things. And I don't even know what I'm signing because someone will just put something in my face and tell me that it'll help me to sign it. And I just sign it. So that's her strategy is that everybody is just, she's just, everybody is just having her sign things. I just, list, I just, I signed it. She's like, she's like, everyone just wants me to sign things and I don't even know what they are. And the detective just goes, I don't know about all that. <laughs> 
What a great answer. She just rambles about like everybody just is making me sign. And then he just goes, I don't know about all that. And then he goes, Dahlia, listen to me. And she knows just another breakdown is coming, just breakdown of the facts of, listen, Dahlia, we filmed it. We filmed it. And then she goes, I just want to go home. That's, then she kind of attaches herself to that phrase. I just want to go home. And it's like, yeah, Dahlia, that's kind of the whole thing with like jail and murder charges. And that's kind of the whole feeling. I think that I think that everyone will pretty much agree with you. You're going to be pretty popular in the I want to go home from jail from my murder charges stance on life. It's going to be very it's going to be very uh, relatable in the big house is just, hi, I'm Dahlia. I would like to go home. You're not going to have to sell the other prisoners on the I want to go home theory. So she's now, <laughs> she's now just saying, I want to go home. And they're like, Dahlia, you're not going home. These are serious charges. And we have you on videotape. You sound, they're like, you sound like a fool. And she's like, I just want to go home. <laughs> And it's like, this is, it just starts to get absurd. And the whole trial, but it's like, we're entering the wormhole of absurdity, people. And she just wants to go home. I don't know if she, I just, I think it goes back to just like, there's nothing else to say other than I didn't do anything and I want to go home. I want to go home, please. Um... And then it kind of just peters out, and the, that is the end of the interrogation. So I don't know if she just was done talking at that moment, or just we don't get to see the rest, or she asked for a lawyer. But the video I was watching, it cuts off right there. All right, so then they go, they book her. And then a short time after they book her, she finally gets her phone call. And who does she call? You guessed it trusty husband Mike and this is just interstellar levels of the Dahlia wormhole of absurdity so you hear the phone ring 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 and my Mike's voice hello and then Dahlia just goes hey it's me <laughs> hey it's me Dahlia, I didn't do anything. I want to go home. And then this phone call is just hilarious. So she's like, can you come here? Can you come? You know, she's like, I need a lawyer. Can you come? And as you can expect, Mike is like, no. What? I can't help you. I heard you. I heard what you said. And if you were to just cut the phone call right there, I would be like, how is Dahlia gonna... How is Dahlia gonna not... I figured she would have to be like, I made a huge mistake, Mike. I don't know what I was thinking. I know I'm on film. I know I'm on tape. I, I'm sorry, you know? But... Just like a Casey Anthony or a Jody... You know, he's like, I heard you. And she just goes, it's not true. It's not true. And it's like, what's not true? You you, you were recorded and you paid a guy for a gun. And she goes, I heard what you heard and I saw what you saw and it's not true. And then they just kind of go back and forth. And it's like, what did I hear then? And Mike cracks me up on this phone call because it's got to be, if you're a crazy prostitute wife that you gave your house to, tries to get you thrown in jail on drug charges, and then tries to pay someone to murder you, 
it's got to be somewhat satisfying to have that person call and ask you for help. <laughs> it's like, I really need your help. And you're like, yeah, I bet you do. But you tried to kill me. So I'm trying to recover from my liposuction, okay? I had something sucked out of my back. My name is Mike. I gave my house to a prostitute. And now I'm call- and now she's talking to me from jail. So she just keeps saying, I heard what you heard and I saw what you saw. Which is another. Put it in the books. What a line. Anytime you get caught lying from here on out, like your boss is like, you weren't even sick when you called in. I saw pictures of you at the beach eating a hot dog. She's like, sir, ma'am, I heard what you heard and I saw what you saw, but it's not true. I'm like, what do you mean it's not true? You were eating a hot dog on the beach. I s- no, I, I saw that. I did see that. I heard what you heard. I saw what you saw. But I do have a friend named Shmita, okay? And I don't know what's going on, please, but I will check my pictures. So, thank you. It's not true. I did hear what you hear heard. I did see what you saw. And there we go. As if it's like, as long as I heard what you heard and saw what you saw, it's not true. And Mike is just like, Dahlia, they're charging your ass. You're in huge trouble, Dahlia. Even if I wanted to help you, they're charging your ass. <laughs> and... uh and, she, and he's like, how do you explain that? Explain to me how you said 5,000% sure. And she's just sticking with, I heard what you heard. And then, you know, and he's, and he is like, even if everything was fine, they're charging you. I can't do anything. And then she goes into, I've always been there for you. There's no denying that. She's like, when you had your liposuction surgery a few weeks ago and you couldn't get up, I was there for you. I've always been there for you, and you, there's no denying that. So she starts to try to guilt him. And it's like, yeah, maybe you were all always there for him during his liposuction recovery process. But you know when you weren't there for him? When you went to Walgreens and got in a hitman's car, paid for a gun, and told that person to kill Mike. That's when you weren't there for him you know and she's like I've always been there for you I love dysfunctional I don't know I'm fascinated by dysfunctional relationship and dysfunctional families and these two he's just recovering from his liposuction I'm sure Dahlia loved that too like my my husband that I've only been married to for six months is getting his fat removed. <laughs> so, you know, she's going, I've always been there for you. There's no denying that. And he's like, Dahlia, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I heard you. I love the way he says it. I heard you. They're charging your ass. You're in a lot of trouble. And she goes, I heard what you heard. I saw what you saw, and it's not true. It's like, since I heard it, it's not true. And she goes, can we, can you just come down here and we can talk in person? And he goes, no. (laughs) No. No, I can't. She goes, why? He goes, why the fuck should I, (laughs) Dahlia? And again, this is just like, If you try to get someone killed, at least have the decency and just pride to not call them and ask them for help. And she's like, I'm always there for you. And then he asks her about the safety. He's like, they found some safety deposit box keys. Safety deposit box keys in your purse. What, are you going to go and take all my money? Is that what you were going to do? And she's like, no, I was just... 
you're just, I was just going to try to get papers. And she's like, no, you weren't. I know that's the safety deposit bucks keys. You're trying to take my money. And then she's like, you need to help me. And he's like, no, you know, I, there's nothing I can do. And she goes, you're not even trying to help me. And they just, it's almost like even when, even when she's in the position she's in where she's going down for solicitation of murder on this guy, it's like they fall back into just being the crappy couple that they are. It's like, you're not even trying to help, Mike. And then Mike gives her kind of a little, like, words of advice. My theory about Mike is he's probably, a, you know, was a crack addict for a while. And when you have an addiction to something like crack, your whole life is lying. You're just lying. You're lying to your boss and your family and yourself. And it's just, you know, you're just a crack liar the whole time. And then if you can beat it, a lot of people that beat it, you know, and Mike was on probation. From everything I can find, he was living a clean life on probation. So no crack, you know, He's trying to stay out of trouble. And a lot of times when you beat an addiction like that, you're, they, people become very honest because they've just lied about everything for so long that it just becomes like, and I, you know, I don't know, Mike might still be full of shit, but to me it just seems like he has that like post- horrific drug habit honesty and I think he feels bad for Dahlia in a way he's gone to prison he's been through the whole court process what she's in and so he kind of when she's like you're not even trying to help me he's like Dahlia you just gonna gonna need to relax you're gonna sit there no matter what you're gonna sit there for a, for a couple days and you're just gonna have to go with it and you know don't talk to you know don't open your mouth more than you need to, and, um, you know, and start dealing with this. And she just breaks down and goes, I love you. I love you so much. You know, I've always been there for you. Please help me. She goes for the cry route, the cry lie. She, she's back to the cry lie. I I've always been there for you. And Mike is just like, Dahlia... I talked to your mom earlier. Here's what I'll do. Sign my house back to me. Then he finds himself in the classic predicament of begging the prostitute you gave your house to to sign it back because she's going to jail for hiring someone to kill you. Okay. That's, that's quite a situation to be in. So he's like, if you sign my house back... I'll help you. I'll get you a lawyer. I'll work with your mom. Just sign my house back so I don't have to go through all the legal once you're, you know, going to jail. And there's a silence. And Dahlia just coldly goes, I'm not signing anything. Whew. I'm not signing anything. And she's like, I didn't do it. And they're going. And then Mike just goes, you're a fucking liar. And that kind of thing, the call kind of just ends from there. What a call. But anyway, so the next video will be about the twist in the case. Because right now, it's looking like an open and shut thing. They got the whole thing on video. You know, what could happen? But this is Florida. It's a wild place with wild animals and wild people. And so the open and shut case gets muddled and they get a couple just sleazeball Floridian lawyers and it's off. So we're going to go over the twist next. It gets nuts. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you to everybody that subscribes and likes and comments. It really helps me out. Also, if you enjoy this channel and you would like to support it, I have a Patreon link in the description and it really does help me out. Um, yeah, that's the show. Thank you so much, everyone. True Crime Loser, out. Why, Stavin, why?